what up? Hey, welcome to the channel with the Fragrance Ninja where I'll be talking about everything fragrance related to hygiene to grooming. And today I want to come at you with a little review of one of my favorite fragrances from the House of Mancera. And honestly, it's probably in my top five. And that is Vanille Exclusive. Now, when it comes to this fragrance, this is a year round winner in my eyes. I mean, this fragrance and the reason that is in my top five from the House of Mancera is not because it's gonna be in everybody's top five. This fragrance represents me. It is me. This fragrance is sweet, it's fruity, and this review is off to a shitty start. Okay, reset. What I mean is these notes represent notes that I love. I love my sweet fragrances. I love my fruit base fragrances. I love florals. They just are wonderful on my skin. They are year round winners in my eyes. And with this one, you have notes such as when you're thinking about the sweet notes, you have amber, vanilla, brown sugar, as well as let's say whipped cream. And when it comes to the fruity aspect, you have peach and you have osmanthus, which is kind of the same thing, a floral peach. And with the florals, you have jasmine and tuberose and violet. And when you combine all of those in this fragrance, wow. It is similar in the aspect of velvet vanilla, only in the aspect of, it seems like it's gonna be a vanilla really dominant fragrance, but it's more of a floral kind of fragrance. It's, it leans towards floral, especially velvet vanilla. This one leans more fruitier floor fruitier before you think about vanilla but the sweet notes are some pretty good players in here and so it's just so well rounded I mean it lasts until tomorrow as uh, well received by all projection yeah it's not gonna reach out and kick you in your chin but you will be noticed I would say from not an arm length but elbow length yeah you'll reach out and touch somebody that far and they're, they're gonna appreciate it this is, uh, this is a good one. Anybody else notice that the prices of Mancera are starting to creep up a little bit? Damn, I think everybody's kind of catching on to Mancera. It's kind of a scary concept, my ass. I used to get these for the low low, but it is what it is. Bang for the buck, still you can't beat them, even if it is creeping up towards uh, 90 to $100. I mean, four ounces of this stuff, and now this one comes with the magnetic cap. As far as the sprayer, I mean, like a light mist sprayer now. Actually, at first I wasn't sure about that, but now I actually like that. You can control these sprays a lot better, especially with the real powerhouse Manceros. You can actually kind of, you know, not overdo it with a big splat that's gonna be running all over the place, but I like it, I like it as far as the sprayers go. But just wanted to touch down with uh, one of my absolute favorites from the house of Mancera. If you hadn't got your nose on it, try it out at least give it a sniff if the fruity floral sweet works for you definitely give this a whirl because this is it kind of came out with a little buzz and then it kind of faded away but in my eyes this should still be talked about this is going to be a staple in my collection i mean for from years to come hopefully and hopefully it never goes away but um that's all i got just wanted to touch down about one of my favorites from House of Mancera. Might be in my top three. It's possibly, a, it's definitely top five. I really need to do a top 10 Mancera, but that's for another day. But hey, that's all I got. Until next time, y'all be good.